and Shane Bigham. China's unveiled two shortened negative lists for foreign investment as part of the efforts to further open up the economy and promote high-quality economic development. The number of items that are off-limits for foreign investors will be cut to 31, down from 33 listed in the 2020 version. China also unveiled its 2021 negative list for foreign investment in pilot free trade zones, cutting the number of items to 27, down from 30. The two new negative lists announced today will take effect on January the 1st. China's major industrial enterprises raked in nearly 8 trillion yuan, or around 1.2 trillion U.S. dollars in profits in the first 11 months of the year. This marks an increase of 38% year-on-year. The average growth of industrial profits in the January-November period for 2020 and 2021 came in at about 19%. Officials say the rising momentum on the prices of raw materials has been curbed, easing pressure on downstream producers. The Chinese Foreign Ministry confirmed on Monday that China's received visa applications from U.S. officials to attend the Beijing Winter Olympics. The Biden administration earlier announced that it'll not send diplomatic or official representation to the Games. Ministry spokesperson Zhao Li Jian says China will process the applications according to international practice, regulations, and the principle of reciprocity. The spokespersons called on the U.S. side to stop politicizing sports. The Chinese mainland reported 162 new locally transmitted cases of COVID-19 on Sunday. Among the five provincial regions that found new cases, Shanxi reported 152. In the United States, airlines have called off more than 1,000 flights for the third day in a row, forcing tens of thousands of Christmas travelers to change their plans. Major airlines say a rapid surge in cases of COVID-19 caused by the Omicron variant among staff is driving the cancellations. Edith Tianshan reports from Los Angeles. We understand uh, not only flight crews, but also uh, many teams, many operation teams working in the airports are are, are suffering from these outbreaks. When one person gets tested, uh, many other people have to take a day off to go get tested. And suddenly, uh, with this uh, rather abrupt surge, many teams, many airlines are experiencing a, a significant shortage in staff members. Now suddenly we realize a lot of people uh, have been making holiday plans and a lot of people have been suddenly rushing to these sites to get these services right ahead of the the holiday week. And that's created a a problem where uh, we are no longer able to make a same day appointment. In some of the cases in my particular area in Los Angeles, for example, I've made a search online and the soonest appointment I could make for uh, testing, for example, is four or five days from today. The number of people who died in Typhoon Ryan in the Philippines has surged to 389, with 64 missing. The typhoon made landfall in the Philippines on December 16th. It's also injured over 1,100 people. A government disaster agency says the typhoons affected more than 4.2 million people in 11 regions in central and southern parts of the Philippines. Two Chinese astronauts on the country's first space station have conducted their second spacewalk. Ya Guangfu exited the space station first, followed by Zhao Zhigang, while teammate Wang Yaping remained inside to support their work. The three astronauts were sent to the space station aboard the Shenzhou 13 spacecraft in October for a six-month stay, the longest ever in China's space program. China Media Groups unveiled a list of the top 10 domestic news events in China for 2021. Topping the list is President Xi Jinping's announcement that China's realized its first centenary goal of building a moderately prosperous society in all respects. He announced it on July 1st at a ceremony marking the CPC centenary at Tiananmen Square. Also on the list is a high-profile meeting of the Communist Party of China in November, which adopted a landmark resolution on the major achievements and experiences of the CPC's one hundred years of endeavors. The election for the seventh term legislative council of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region also made the list. The election held earlier this month was the first since crucial changes to the region's electoral system. Japanese star skater Yuzuru Hanyu is set to fight for his third Olympic crown after winning a national title on Sunday and qualifying for the Beijing Winter Olympics. The 27-year-old was competing in his first event in more than eight months, but comfortably retained the title that he won last year. That's the news. I'm Shane Vigil.